What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video. Today real quick I want to share with you guys my $500 AMD Ryzen 3 3100 4 core 8 thread gaming slash Ryzen Touch build. Now if you guys didn't watch the build video, you guys definitely should watch the part 1. There will be a link in the video's description or maybe link up there. Definitely check out. Now if you guys didn't watch the first part, then let me just give you guys a quick hardware spec rundown so you guys know now after that we'll jump into uh you know some gaming benchmark and then we'll jump into mac os and show you guys a couple of the test i ran so you guys can see how these 500 dollar uh, gaming slash ryzen touch perform now the motherboard i have in this build gigabyte b450 m ds3 h matx motherboard this motherboard is perfect for someone who is looking to build a budget a Ryzen build. I tested this motherboard with couple other CPUs I had laying around uh, like Ryzen 7 uh, 2700 CPU, uh, Ryzen 5 3600 CPU and also with my Ryzen 3 3200G CPU. Only downside with this MATX motherboard there is only two fan headers. So you have a CPU fan header and you have rear case fan now if you do have problem and you uh, need to install more fans you can always get PWM uh, fan uh, split, uh, splitter here and basically uh, you can uh, plug this PWM uh, fan uh, plug to any fan header on your motherboard and then basically you can run uh, three fans of one uh, PWM fan headers and this cable goes for around six dollars so you can definitely uh, pick up this cable from Amazon I'll leave a link in the video's description now uh, the CPU cooler I'm using uh, in this build uh, AMD Wraith Prism uh, cooler this cooler comes with uh, AMD Ryzen uh, 7 3700x CPU or the 3800x I bought the CPU cooler used uh, from Facebook market for $25 also, I managed to overclock my Ryzen 3 3100 to 4.2 GHz and the temperature was summer uh, 70 uh, Celsius, so temperature was pretty good. Now, also, I feel like I can uh, push the CPU even further. Maybe I can overclock the CPU to maybe uh, 4.3 GHz, but then you definitely should go with the aftermarket CPU cooler like uh, Cooler Monster Hyper 212. I feel like uh, MD Wraith uh, Prism is not good enough for 4.3 gigahertz. Like you can overclock, but your temperature will definitely go up to like maybe uh, 80, uh, 85 Celsius. So definitely, I don't recommend. Now, the SSD I have in this build uh, is a Samsung 256 gig SSD, and I have a one terabyte uh, Western Digital uh, mechanical hard drive. Now. I, I wanted to use the SSD and basically install uh, Windows and Mac OS on this SSD and do like dual boot with single SSD but I already had all my game on the Western Digital 1TB mechanical hard drive I have like 10 games installed already so that's the reason I didn't bother because I don't really use my Windows uh, OS for anything else other than you know gaming now uh, the graphics card I have in this uh, build, uh, Sapphire Pulse uh, RX 570. Uh, this card is 4 gig, and I feel like this card is perfect for 1080p gaming. And also, this card is perfect for uh, budget hack and torch builders because you can pick up this card used from uh, maybe Facebook Market, OfferUp, or even eBay around 80 to 90 dollars. Even you pay 100 dollars for this card, it's definitely worth it. So I highly recommend this card for gaming or Hackintosh build. Definitely worth it. And definitely the case, I personally like this case a lot. Uh, I have a Dark Flash DLM22. Uh, I have the white version here. They also have uh, other color, pink, black. Uh, you guys should definitely check out. There will be a link in the video's description. Uh, this case is a MATX case. Uh, you can install up to like five fans. I only have two fans in installed. Um, these two fans are a bit expensive. Uh, I have a uh, Sai uh, Kazi 
flex rgb fans these are 15 dollars each but i'll leave a link in the video description for something cheaper so you guys can uh, pick up maybe for 15 dollars or maybe uh, 17 dollars you can pick up like three uh, rgb fans so definitely check out the videos uh, description now the rams i have here these are a data xpg uh 3000 megahertz rams these are cl16 i managed to overclock these rams to around 3200 megahertz with a 1.37 bolt now i highly recommend go with higher megahertz rams because you will definitely get better gaming uh performance so if you can go with 3600 megahertz uh, rams even better so yeah, and I have 16 gigs. The power supply I have in this build, uh, EBGA 500 uh, BR80 plus bronze. I picked up that power supply for around uh, $49, but currently maybe price is high. So maybe I'll leave a link in the video's description for some other power supply uh, link uh, check out. And other than that, guys, uh, this build is definitely great for someone uh, who is looking to maybe get into PC gaming or maybe who is planning on building a AMD Ryzen Torch, aka Hackintosh, obviously. Uh, definitely worth it because Ryzen uh, 33100, a 4-core 8-thread CPU, still a great CPU, performed really well. And if you guys care about overclocking, this thing is a beast. I know I can push this CPU to... 4.3 gigahertz easily and uh, the voltage I dialed for the overclock only 1.2 uh, volt so kind of crazy but uh, you know I'm really satisfied with this build and for now I'll use this uh, build for my like main workstation purpose gaming purpose I just want to see uh, you know how this system performs you know maybe I'll test this build for like uh, one month or maybe more and see how this thing uh, perform so guys let's not waste any more time let's jump in and show you guys a couple of the games i uh tested and also uh i'll show you guys a couple of the tests i ran on like a mac os catalina so you guys will see how this system perform all right guys so let's jump in <laughs> 